In this problem, we have two balls colliding into each other. Their masses and initial velocities are both given. And uh, we need to determine their respective speeds after the collision if the coefficient of restitution between them is 0 0.5. And we also need to determine how much kinetic energy has been dissipated from the system, including these two balls, during this collision. And if the two balls are in contact for 0 0.5 seconds, we also need to uh, determine the average impulsive force that acts between them. So we can treat these two balls as one system. There's no external forces that uh, can change their uh, total momentum during this short period of time of collision. Um, and uh, because of that, we can write our conservation of linear momentum equation along the, let's say, this direction is a positive x direction. So we have ma, the mass of ball a times va1, the initial velocity of a, plus mb times vb1, that equals to the, so this is the total momentum before the collision, and that equals to the total momentum after the collision, which is ma va2 plus mb vb2. And substitute the things that we do know. We know the mass, 0 0.5 kilogram for ball A. The initial velocity is a 3. For ball B, its mass is 0 0.8 kilogram, but its initial uh, velocity is in the negative x direction. So that's negative 0 0.8 times 5. And that equals to 0 0.5 times VA2 plus 0 0.8 times V. B2. So from again from this equation, we have two unknowns. We cannot solve for neither one of them, but we do have another equation, which is given by the coefficient of restitution. So E equals to the departing relative velocity VB2 minus VA2 divided by the initial approaching relative velocity VA1 minus VA2, sorry, VB1, and that equals to VB2 minus VA2 divided by uh, 3 minus negative 5, and that equals to 0 0.5. So as you can see, now we have two equations with two unknowns, and we can solve for both of them. So as a result, VA2 2 equals to negative 4.38 meter per second and VB2 equals to negative 0 0.385 meter per second. So that answers the first part of the problem. Uh, as you can see, both velocities are negative, which means that they are both to the left. So because um, ball B has a bigger mass and also a bigger velocity than ball A. Therefore, after the collision, the, they both travel to the left. They continue to travel to the left. Um, and that's reflected by their uh, velocities after the collision. And we can continue to solve for uh, how much kinetic energy uh, has been lost during this process of collision. So that can be determined by the total initial kinetic energy minus the total final kinetic energy, which equals to, so one half ma va1 squared plus one half mb vb one squared minus one half ma va two squared plus one half mb vb two squared. And since we know all of these, we can do the calculation. The initial kinetic energy of the system is 12.25 joule, and the final uh, kinetic energy of the system is a 4.855 joule. So as a result, the 
change is 7.39 joule. And that's how much that has been dissipated during this process of collision. And we can also determine the average impulsive force uh, that acts between the two balls. So that will be the force that ball A exerts on ball, ball B as well. It's the same action and reaction force uh, that uh, ball B acts on ball A. So we can write one equation, which is the principle of linear impulse and momentum. So the initial linear momentum of A, MA, VA1, plus the impulse during this process, because we're looking for average force, so that is simply force times T, that equals to the final linear momentum, MA, VA2. So again, initially we have 0 0.5 times 3, plus the force, the time is 0 0.5 second, and that equals to um, 0 0.5 times the final velocity, 4.38 meter per second. So from this equation, we can solve for the force F to be negative 7.38 Newton. Negative sign indicates that the force exerted by ball B to ball A is to the left because we have decided that right is positive direction. So this force acting to the left agrees with um, common sense. We can tell that the force exerted by ball B will be to the left. Um, if you use, if you write the uh, equation uh, based on the principle of impulse and momentum for ball B, you will get the same magnitude of the force, except that the force will be to the right, because the force from ball A acting on ball B will be to the right.